What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cornelius Jones, and I'm back, but this time, got a different subject. That's right. We are going to have a conversation today. Greetings, sisters and brothers out there, YouTube. I have paused in my daily toil to reheat some really ancient burritos and make a reply video to a cult apologist who wants a discussion with atheists. By discussion, of course, he does not mean discussion. He means he stands on his bully pulpit and spews flummery. That's right, flummery. And his listening victims are expected to just sit there, stand there, or, I don't know, if you're Canadian, taking it up the butt, uh, and not reply, just believe, don't think. Sorry, Canadians out there. So, I've only seen one minute of the original video, so it'll be all fresh and new for me and everybody else out there. So, rolling up the work sleeves, and I shall give this cult apologist a terrible, terrible beating with logic and reason. We shall see. With our atheists, people who period of time watch my videos from time to time, and these people believe that there is no God. The no, and you have been corrected about this assertion of yours many scores of times. I suggest that perhaps you have a disability in learning or perhaps a disability in honesty. When you assert that atheists believe there are no gods, you need to back that up with evidence. Step forward and produce evidence that the majority of atheists, to give you a break, believe that there are no gods. Come on, step up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can't do that. For the majority of atheists, they do not believe the gods do not exist. Those of you out there, if you do not believe that God exists, that there is enough evidence to believe in a God or whatever. Evidence and beliefs are mutually exclusive. Pick one or the other. This is a video for you because I have a profound question. It is a very simple question. I believe it is a fair question. Gosh, here we go again. Same old question from same old cult apologist personality. I mean, the, you can all glump them into one huge group. And they're all the same. They're all parroting the same crap. Same so-called questions. I have not heard the question yet, but I will wager 80,000 rubles, you know, like 40 bucks, that he will make an assertion under the pretense of asking a question. Let's go see. And I would like to have some conversations in the inbox in the uh, in the threads, you know, I, I'm even at this point, I'd like to email whatever. I want to have some conversation with some of you. I want to ask a very simple question. Why? Why should anybody, including atheists, take the time to exchange emails with you or conversations in your video's comment section? Why? I mean, I'm making this video out of ego, e ego gratification for me. And I don't give a shit about any so-called conversation because it's a waste of my time. It's a waste of everybody else's time. Give us a good reason why somebody should give time to you for your so-called discussions, i.e. preaching. I will wait for the your answer on that. You can make a reply video and let everybody know why we should give time to you. 
What would it take for you to believe? A terrible blow to my head. That's the question. What would it take for you to believe? I refuse to believe shit. I have a working brain. It is my concern that for some of you, there's no amount of evidence that would be reasonable enough. Phooey! Tommy Rot! We cannot examine evidence that has not been produced. We cannot deny or not accept evidence that has not been presented. Step up and produce evidence that the gods exist, and then we will discuss it. For you to believe that God exists. Enough for you to believe that Jesus Christ, more specifically, rose again from the dead. Fooey! Fool! E! A brain tumor approximately here. No, on the left side here. Right there. Brain tumor right there would make me believe that gods rise from the dead. And proved himself to be God. But that can be proven wrong. You can prove me wrong. Gosh, how very common of a cult apologist. Nobody has the burden to disprove bizarre delusions. It is up to the people who have these bizarre delusions to step up and produce evidence that their delusions are true. You can prove me wrong. Not that you have the desire to prove me wrong or would care to prove me wrong. A minute ago, Wobbling Bear, who lives in the canyon here, came into my pantry through the bathroom window, ripping the window out, and then into the kitchen where my burritos were reheating, grabbed my burritos, and then passed through the sunroom, ripping the doors apart, and departed with my burritos. Prove me wrong. But it is a factual statement that if you chose to, you could prove me wrong. And why do I say that? Good gods, that question is hilarious. I can think of hundreds of amusing answers to why you believe what you claimed to believe. Hundreds! I will settle on answer because you're an idiot. Because my purpose for coming on here today... Self-aggrandizement. ...is to tell you about an event that will that many believe is in our near future what i can guarantee is that this event will take place i cannot guarantee when although many people even top scholars of today agree that this time is near blah 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 the video goes on and on and on. Anybody interested in the original video that I am replying to can find the link in my crotch. If I can summarize the person's, um, I guess I could call it argument. He wants non-believers, people who do not believe the gods exist, to state what evidence they will accept that gods do exist. This, of course, is not how it is done. First, you'd have to pick which gods, which pantheon, then which god inside that pantheon. And Christianity has a shitload of gods. So does Judaism. I mean, that's why El is called the god of the gods. And by the way, Yahweh is the Canaanite volcano god that is a son of El, and the Christian Testament makes Isus a grandson of El. So pick the God. 
we can't possibly state what evidence we will accept because that's just absurd. We can't possibly know what evidence there would exist. It is up to the people who assert that the gods exist to step up and produce evidence for their claims. Then, people who do not believe in the gods can examine that evidence. And if the evidence meets the reasonable person metric, then I personally will tentatively accept that the gods exist, but certainly not before. And there's just asking for evidence of what would convince non-believers. That is asinine. That is deceptive. That is not ethical. That is not moral. That is a dodge that uh, apologists make when they know damn well they don't have any evidence. If they had evidence, they would step up and produce it. They do not. 